Hey guys, I'm James on occasion, and today, more Zephon. And there's uh, more engineers. We're going to kill some engineers. There's lots of cicadas again. Hello, cicadas. Uh, let's shoot that badden. You don't need to be mean to him, you know. Do I... Ooh, maybe I do, then I could push them up and get the kill. No, I might be able to just kill them with that. Yeah, I'll kill them with that. That's perfect. God, it's still creepy. Still creepy. Still hate it. Also, what is the range on your guns? It's three. Okay. But line of sight isn't necessarily. I think that's the big, the big thing with these guys. I cannot tell <laughs> what that is. I don't know what the icons are there. So I don't know what its line of sight is, or if, if any of those are that. Um, so yeah, we might be able to just like stand here and shoot it. Like genuinely, that might be something we could do. So one, two, three, right? Let's see if it can shoot us. Because if I can just shoot it with lasers. Oh, well, it can definitely see us there. So, never mind. So, that is a good chunk of damage. Can I just run at it with everybody? And then maybe kill it? Do I try? Oof, it's a tough one, isn't it? Do I try? Because that's low power now. So, I'm not going to get that big, big damage on it again. But, I am upsetting it, and I can lower its accuracy so it can't retaliate as well. Which I think is probably a good call, right? I might be able to take that out with what I have here. And if I can't, then, um, well, I don't know. Uh, let's shoot something. Should we shoot an Akbarn? Uh, I could shoot this guy. No, I can't. Can't quite reach. Alright, I'll shoot the Akbarn then. Okay, and then all these guys. Are we done down here? We are from the last turn. Cool. Uh, oh, you haven't shot, though. Which I suppose you can. It's going to go into search and destroy mode now, though, isn't it? <laughs> that was probably a terrible idea. So that's almost certainly going to get blown up. Uh, the Choyat Exterminator is actually only losing... Yep, there it goes. Only using 3.5, which isn't too bad. Oh, good. The, the dragon leveled up. That's what we wanted. We wanted the dragon to level up. <laughs> All right, you're going to go up here, okay? It's going to take you 47 turns. That's great. I I am here for it. All right, we can get some damage in there. What? That was odd. Uh, and you can't quite reach. That's okay. You know what? This is going down very quickly. Maybe we could have been a bit more aggressive, though I'm not sure we would have been able to have been more aggressive, really, considering the fact there were so many missile teams and things around here um, before now. I think this is probably the best chance we've had to actually attack. A little bit of respite over here, where we haven't been fighting. Like, we, yeah, we, we hit the engineers because they were wandering off to try and create a new settlement, but there's no conflict that's drawing units over here. At least there wasn't for a while. If we're still using the same, like, similar kind of AI to Gladius, they tend to respond to things that are, like, ongoing. So if they're having a skirmish with another faction, they're going to be sending units over there if we pull away, right? Um, so that might be what's happened. If it's left us free, just that, you know, few turns that we left them might have been um, fantastic for us. All right, so I'm actually going to come down here and fight this thing, I think. I mean, I don't really want to get hit by this guy. But we might be able to do some good damage to him. That didn't do much at all. So that's good news. 16.5 damage. 19.5 damage. Wow. I shall bring you in too. Uh, we can lower its accuracy as well. And then I will shoot it. Okay, I think I put you there. That'll be a good spot to snipe. Uh, what's the range on this thing's attacks, anyway? I don't know. I have no idea. Do I want to build one? 
Do I want to build one? Sure. Cost us a lot of minerals. Uh, and what's his range? Three? Wow, we can actually attack that. I mean, it's getting attacked instead. Oh, you know what? Interference protocols on the city as well. Maybe I should have done that sooner. That's okay. So we can't afford anything because we threw all our minerals away. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, right, sniping things. We could wipe out any of these two units. Do I wipe out these Reavers? Or, you know, we've got to get the group of four, right? It'd be weird if we didn't. And then I'm going to move you across here, maybe? We'll see. But we might be able to start hitting that. Uh, oh yeah, we can't quite hit it with that. The target is like along here. Yeah, I remember now. Uh, so you guys down here, big big damage there. Let's move forward a little bit. I was gonna say it might trigger an Overwatch, which I don't really mind about. Oh, we should be able to. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting them to be here. I just realised that's dead now. These don't trigger Overwatch. Again, I made that same mistake. I moved next to it, it didn't shoot me, so I thought, oh, well, I've got... I, I don't have to worry about Overwatch then. <laughs> it doesn't have an Overwatch. It does. It absolutely does. God, that's frustrating. Uh, yeah, all right. That's what we're going to do. We're going to shoot it, and then I'm going to finish it off with the assassinate thing. No, I'm not. Apparently, that's not quite going to kill it. That's also a mistake. Flip an egg. All right, well, you can shoot that to finish it off. And we found another one of these wardens. So I could just wipe them out and then move here. So we should be able to get some good damage into this thing. The fact that it's got the forests in front of it might mean we can't just line up and start shooting. Maybe from over here. But then they have the city in the way, so we might need to actually get in close and fight that one, which I don't really want to do. But, hey, everyone's got their morale restored. You're sat in wireweed, which you shouldn't be. Um, we can get Dance of the Aerolim for them as well. Nice. They're higher level than I thought they were. Okay. Okay. I think things are going well. Zephon's calling. Getting attacked by dragons, which is always a laugh. Uh, ooh. Valkyria. That's terrifying. They've brought a Gundam. Uh, I remember that unit. I, I recruited a bunch of those units when we first played the demo last year. And they're very scary. Humanity's first real weapon that could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the monsters of the new world came with a price. We needed exosuits, but the scientists could only make them work if you hardwired a pilot, a pilot into them. I thought no one would go for it, but some women in our group stood up. They were born ready to take their enemies to Valhalla. Because, you know, all women are Vikings. Everybody knows that. Um, yeah, cool. Terrifying. Terrifying. Hate it. Does it have... Oh, those are all levelable. Okay, so I don't think it has those. Yet. Maybe. So Zephon's calling. I really value our friendship. Let's work through this. <laughs> he wants peace, does it? Um, do I just say no because we're winning? I'm going to reject peace. I think we wipe him out. Okay, we wipe out Zephon. That's what we're doing. To where we're at. But yeah, this thing's gonna be scary. Oh, I should have thrown the drones over there, actually. Tempted him to attack that. Because now I'm tempting him to attack my hero instead. Which isn't as nice. It's not as nice. Ugh. Not great damage, is it? But, like, we're getting through it. I think we might need to put a interference protocol on this guy as well. Let's just make sure they're all having a terrible day. We can also lower hit points and morale a bit. How much health has it got? 32? It's tempting. So tempting, in fact, I'm going to do it. Just early, an early upset. So we have a meat harvest. Uh, we have 30 capacity, so I can do that. I also think we should probably queue up some engineers, huh? Yeah, let's queue up some engineers. And then meat harvesting time. Huzzah. So, let's see. We need 20. We have 21. So let's turn something else back on. Um, yeah, that gets us influence. So we'll turn that on. Uh, did that put down loyalty? I feel like that put down loyalty for some reason. Huh. That's fine. 
Okay, cool. Right, let's... Um, so we've got another loyalty building building. Which where are we building that? Oh, over there. In fact, let's try and get that other... Uh, a hollow theatre built over here. We're actually really doing badly on minerals now. Just because our upkeep is so high. Oh, meat harvest. We had two of them. We had two of them. Nice. I think. Did that go up or did that not go up? Does it just speed this up? Is that what it does? I didn't check. Maybe it doesn't actually give you plus one population. It might just give you a big boost to growth. But I'm not seeing it. Sorry, I have no idea. Anyway. I feel like sometimes it doesn't add a population. So yeah, I think it might just add to like the growth bar. It might just be like an extra turn of growth or something. Instantly? I'm not sure. So you're very hurt, so you can just grab that for me. And, uh... Yeah, you can shoot it from there. This can finish it up, and then these two can wander up over here to help fight these little miscreants. These cheeky boys. Alright, 3.6 damage isn't very much. The amount of damage you can do... ...to these guys. Oh, okay. Did you know they had a couple of guys kicking around? Because they do. They have a couple of guys. I'm glad we have the stalkers, because we can really wipe a lot of these guys out. Very quickly. And I'm going to keep the pressure on that one. Just because I can, I think. Uh, we do have more snipers on the way. And these guys are going to help as well. These guys are going to help a lot in, in dealing with these thousands of reavers. The fact that we can kill so many of them without snipers, though, is great. Could do with some more up there, to be honest. Uh, right, let's move you down here. And I have to go quite slowly through this area. So, here we go. That works. That works for me. Oh, and we have a... Uh, more accuracy of not damage this turn. Yeah, sure, why not? Why the heck not? Oh, hello. Another warden down here. Uh, can I not shoot from here? That's odd. Can't shoot over the cliffs. Oh, or am I shooting up? Ah, okay, yeah, the cliffs are the other side. I couldn't tell which direction the cliffs were. But yeah, this is raised. So, fair enough. I guess I'll move you there now. Do I want to move more of them down here, or do I want to help deal with this rabble first? Not sure. Not sure. Uh, we're still dealing mostly the, like, neutral stuff. I can't wipe out those busters. Which I think I will do. I think I will do. That's shaken now. So it'll be taking more damage. So have we done everything up here? Yes. Is have one more unit, which is this guy. Of course, we were going to shoot this warden. There's still a couple of wardens. Yeah, they're freaky. Wardens are freaky. Uh, all right, everyone else seems happy. There's another cache down here that we can go and grab. So I think I'll tell him to do that now, just in case I forget to do the order next turn. Uh, so this is all looking good. I'm going to keep the. Um, unit recruitment to a minimum right now. Alright, taking some damage there. That's okay. Yeah, they're getting very spawned. We'll pull them back. But we can snipe more of them out. Provided they survive. I mean, they can heal up and just stay there. Like, they could endure another another turn, probably. If we, if we give them the heal. Yeah, that's all they took. Alright, extra acquisition radius can be useful. Stretch your HQ out too far and it might collapse under its own weight. Good leaders were careful. Built up a strong foundation to stand on, then sped up expansion that turned small bases into mini metropolises. I think that's just a city, isn't it? Um, extra influence on rivers. That's just for the administration complex. Do we have any rivers going through our city at all? I don't think so. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of research that's very situational. Um, premium access sounds quite good. Converts minerals into transuranium. Um, 
We can lower accuracy some more for interference protocols. Let's do that. Um, or we can get anti-particle purge from our network splitter, which means we can just start removing bleed and things. That's quite nice. That is quite nice. Um, and it gives us energy somehow. Whenever you make it, you remove bleed. And it gives you energy, does it? Don't know. Anyway, let's just get um, let's get that for now. Because I think I still want to get some engineers. Let me take a couple of turns, and I can start getting rid of this bleed around here. I might start making a road heading down here. Um, heading up here would also be pretty good, to be honest. So we lost our drones. That's to be expected. This is still debuffed, right? Oh, it's damaged and broken. But I guess it no longer has the, um, uh, whatever it's called. You know, the thing. This thing. We should get more of those. No longer has that active. We are pretty close to destroying it now. Let's turn on evasion. Just in case they decide to change target. I mean, they're probably going to shoot that again, aren't they? I might step back. Uh, although, hang on. Yeah, next turn we'll do double damage anyway, so. Alright. I mean, it's so close to being dead. So close. I think we will destroy their city. I think we will destroy it. Uh, speaking of destroying things, right, are we going to... Okay, I can't just wipe out that unit in one. So I will kill a bunch of them. Alright, you guys are close now. Uh, ten damage to their headquarters with this. Okay, these do seem to be... Ow, rude. We lost one, so it's going to be less than ten damage now. Yeah, I think I'm just going to heal with them. And we'll try and uh, weather that. Ooh, I don't know if the Hashmalim host will be able to weather all this. But I can lower the accuracy of the headquarters. And then shoot these guys. Nice. Okay, I can finish them off. Brilliant. Brilliant news. Alright, let's see what this is. See what this cash is. Extra energy. I mean, it's better than nothing. There's another dragon. Okay. Not seeing any baddies. Not seeing any baddies. I need to find some more baddies. Oh my god, you can shoot it from there. Hilarious. Okay, let's keep going. We can, we can hopefully line up and destroy that then. If I just line up here. We can destroy it like we destroyed the other one. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we still got this guy. Push him up here. Hmm. I don't think we can take that on. With these two. They're a little flimsy. Uh, although, we can lower their accuracy a little bit. Which is something. Let's just keep exploring. I'm going to head into this area a little. Because we've explored about half the map. But we've only found one of the other players, which I guess, you know, half the map. And half the players are, are visible, right? Me and him. Makes sense. Okay. So, oh, you've not shot yet. So I suppose you can too. Lovely. Yeah, this thing's not going to last. And neither are their units, so I reckon we can probably get Shatterwall soon afterwards too. Oh, and you've not shot yet either. Well, Alright then. Interesting just making like a turret like this. It's quite cool. I wish we had a lot more uh, minerals coming in though. I think we will have to create more minerals. So let's see. Plus 40%. Let's grab that next and go for minerals. I think that's going to be really useful. Because yeah, if we can build, um, if we can have these things built all over the place, that'd be really good. They've got some upkeep though. That we may have to worry about a bit. And that's probably not going to last. Oh, really? You guys are getting involved now? 
Uh, I don't know if they're at war with them. I have no idea. Can I check? I don't know if I can check. There's communications. Oh, yeah, okay. It does look like I can see. So, yeah, these guys are at war with the Chieftess. They're at war with everyone. They're trading with Zephon. They're shared hatred of us, probably. I like that you can block people. That's very funny. Okay, I can, like, clear these guys out. They might just keep sending more, though. Um... And they're looking pretty good. You're going to die now. Okay, let's shoot them. Let's kill those Akbluths. Abkluths, something, I don't know. And let's attack that some more. You can kill that one. You carry on damaging the city. Okay, we killed most of the stuff around here. Morale is looking pretty low. Getting some level ups. And and they just signed that contract. Also, I just skipped um, reading about those creepy Akron boys. Those Akron boys are at it again. Oh, more meat. Another meat tree. Go get the meat tree next turn. Love a meat tree. They're so good. Ooh, you took a bunch of damage. That's sad. And, of course, there's a bunch of construction work starting again outside. Of course there is. Of course there is. See, if you hear any um, strange noises, um, let's just assume it's that. I've never made a strange noise in my life. Yeah, I'm going to grab that, actually. Okay, good. Yeah, I guess we're shooting this at everything we've got. Um... I guess we do need to shoot it with everything. It's disappointing. We can mark a target. I've never done that. Why haven't I done that yet? That'd be great. I should have done that. Especially when I have this many. So I'll mark that headquarters as a target, and then they can all start blasting it. But, uh, yeah, we got rid of those sentries. I'd have preferred him not to have attacked anything, so I could have him uh, rest. Yeah, any, any turn that your units do nothing, and they don't get attacked, they heal. I don't think I've ever mentioned that. That's just sort of a staple of, like, Gladius. But they get better healing if they're in an outpost or if they're in their city or, you know, various other modifiers. You know, if they're uh, hanging around in... It's gone now, but... Cic oh, yeah, cicadas. They they stop you from doing that, apparently. Also, it, you know, I assume. Nice. Okay, laser baby. Let's go. Another meat tree. Dear me, Chanterelle gone? Where is your humanity? Your fellow feeling? I have none. Because I am naughty. Imagine like some diabolical, you know, soulless monster, which I've decided that we are today. Um, <laughs> just referring to themselves as naughty. Be like, come on, man. Like, you know how that sounds. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Um, Alright, let's get... I don't know, I think that's kind of everyone, right? Oh, you can see something. Oh my god, you can finish off those ab abcluths. <laughs> and they're all cheering. I do love that cheering sound effect, it's very funny. Uh, let's uh, skip ahead. Ooh, that thing's nearly gone. Oh no! Yeah, those stalkers need to run away. Everyone should do the warden should uh, hopefully deal with it though. Okay, we can lower accuracy even further now. Quantum economics! I mean, sure. We have a quantum manipulator, right? Uh, routine tasks. Yeah, I quite like routine tasks as well, but no, I'm gonna go with um, quantum economics. Even though that would get me an extra two influence and two research just from standing there, which is kind of nice. But uh, I'm about to move. Alright, you guys. Uh, I can mark target 2 range, which I'm going to. Also, I might be lucky that this might not be able to shoot me because these trees are covering it, 
and these guys seem to ignore trees. Like, is that a thing? Because I, I don't see it saying anything specifically about it being able to, like, shoot through vegetation and stuff. It's a bit weird. But, sure. Uh, do I do the assassinate? Just some bonus damage? Maybe I should try and kill it first, because it would lower that thing's morale, which would be a great start. So, let's see if we can't kill this. And we have to kill this in one turn would be pretty great. I gotta say, I love the assassin and the horde of snipers. It's a really cool, uh, cool mechanic. Zephon is in alliance with the frame now. I mean, I get it, you know? I get it. Alright, assassinate. And that is gonna lower morale of this by two. It's broken now. Hell yeah. Alright, that's good. In that case, one of these can step forward next turn, and we give that a, um, we mark it, and then everyone else can start shooting. Don't think that's awesome. I hope we able to get through that pretty quickly. Oh yeah, and you go for the meat tree. Amazing. We're getting so many meat trees. So many meat trees. And now we have some engineers. Awesome. I can terraform. Oh, clear a tile, remove road, construct road, okay. Nothing that crazy then. Uh, does it do where we are? It says it has range 1. It's melee. And it costs minerals. I'm, oh, I'm gonna move here. And tuned. Extra accuracy for a mechanical unit. That's cool. What are you doing? Stop that. And you can't do it where you're stood. Okay, that's silly. Or it's because it's in a city and there's roads already. That would make more sense. Uh, but that's cool. Start building some roads. Help us move quicker. Which I like. That's fun. And yeah, I'm just going to do it vaguely in this direction. Maybe to like to here. I'll go to like outposts. Start connecting outposts maybe. Yes, yeah, so I'll head for that, then that, then that, then that, then that maybe. I think that makes sense. That way you can move quickest to the outpost, which is obviously going to give you defensive bonuses. So I think that's probably the way to go. Okay. I like how this is going. We've got some queued orders. Yeah, they're still heading north. Um, let's have you move to the meat tree. And you can heal there. We found their other city. Which is a little scary, actually. It's probably a lot bigger. I wonder what else is here. Because there's not a lot of tree cover. Well, I guess there's city cover that we could use. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, and you can start blasting this because everyone else is gone. Okay, that's pretty good. Do you do more damage up close or anything? Nah. So that's fine then. We'll just start blasting. This is still going somehow. We have our snipers that can help deal with them. And, okay, you can finish them off. You can shoot that, too. Amazing. Oh, well, you just did shoot, didn't you? Oh, wait, hang on, they can act twice, can't they? They can act twice, I think. I think. His accuracy is down. Uh, well, it says it attacks twice. There. I did I did think I saw something about this being able to act twice. So maybe that's it. Maybe it shoots one and then you can choose where to shoot the other. In which case that's sort of awesome. Uh Alright, let's move you over here. Um you stay where you are, actually. You stay where you are. Now, I think we sit tight. Here. Oh, we never did build a second hollow theatre here, which we probably should do. Let's get that queued up. Although we really need more minerals, actually. So we'll go with minerals there first. Then we'll get our loyalty up a bit more. By your accomplishment. Uh, AI rights has cheered him up, of course. Okay, they are able to shoot me from there. Alright, there's a lot more stuff coming in here. We can still shoot at them here. Hang on, why is leadership so poor here? 
What did you do? What did you do? They're on fire, which is a bit sad. So what do you want? Cooperative. Accept peace? Oh yeah, I said do you want to pay for it. But let's just accept peace. Let's just accept peace. Oh. 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 We have problems. It's a lot of combat drones. So what what team are they? That's Asnath. Okay, well we're now in a battle with Asnath. Oh, we can't do that much damage there either. So we need to pull out. Do I stick one of these down? Could do. Oh, that's why everyone got upset. The, the structure got destroyed. Alright, we've always got that now. Alright, we can finish off with the snipers. Or we can finish off with you. Which feels better to me. <laughs> what the flip? I had some good... Good poopy in Serate. Some of my last great crisps tinnies. She's she's upset about her Pringles. And friends too. Blip. You're staying with the Chief Test has decreased, because we blew up her house. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we We destroyed her crisps. Alright, you can't heal yet. So I'm a little worried about you. But I might be able to hold a little longer. Oh, hello. Some busters belong to these guys. Interesting. Oh, busters are what found cities. Oh, they might be trying to found another city. And they might actually just drop one right next to us. That is something that the, um... A faster way to do this. That happens in Gladius a lot. Now we're going places. Okay, that's really cool. I'll just start trailing down. Awesome. Awesome. For a huge amount of recruitment. Um, yeah, okay. Also, we spent all of our minerals over here when we should have built the mineral building building. But we didn't. We didn't. And honestly, I'm fine with that. I think we do need to hold those guys at bay for a little while. Ah, here we are. We're going to get shot, aren't we? Yep. Why didn't you shoot them? Okay, we need to throw out some some drones to try and tempt them in, I think. I'm not sure we can actually do much to that, you know? I think we need more troops. Like these guys. Yeah, I think we're going to need more to contend with all this. I think we're going to need more. I feel like they might be busy fighting something else, you know? Whatever they're fighting. If they are fighting, like, another another leader, then we might be in a lot of trouble. This is also a problem. Um... Yeah, we do less damage if we're right up next to something. Oh, really? God, that's disappointing. Alright, if I move here... Right, we're about to get the heal off. But with the extra accuracy we're getting, I'll be able to damage that. Okay, good. So I don't know where they came from. There's that warden over there too. Might need to contend with them. Yeah, I think I'll leave that for now. I mean, they're going to get shot at again. So I'll try and get some healing in, I think. And just try and keep their numbers down. And we'll go for that. All at once. Uh, so I can use data hack again. Which I suppose I will do. And we'll probably get a lot more from here. So we're on plus 45. No, plus 58. Much better. So that's really good news. The fact that we just got line of sight on that is pretty great. I think that's... Oh, you've not moved yet. Do I try and push through the scrub? Ah, we found their city. We found it. And you can attack something. You can attack these guys. Nice. Uh, you guys... 
Yeah, I moved all them, and then these guys, I don't know what to do with them. Do a bit of scouting, I suppose. But we're probably going to lose that uh, laser baby. Be very surprised if we didn't lose the lose the laser baby. Could clear a tile as well, so we have more building opportunities. I don't think any of these matter right now, though. Oh, and we can actually put people back on that construction yard. Okay. Uh, hello there. Uh, map exchange sounds good. Okay, we can see a lot now. But yeah, it looks like this is the last of yellow. And it looks like our green friends are doing okay. These guys have a couple of bases at least. So okay, we, we've seen some new vehicles. Yeah, they have an Exusa Marauder. The fact that these guys seem to be using the same kind of tech as us, except they've got a dark Vassail. They have a couple of them. Are you spawning those? Oh my god, they are. Yeah, they're spawning. <laughs> it's also for five turns. That's creepy. Alright, this is bad news, actually. This is way tougher than anything we've been facing. Up until now. And we are apparently facing everything, so I think... Uh, I think this it might be time to book it. I'm do a lot of damage to that Marauder. There's a lot of combat drones, too. Which means they have a lot of laser babies. Look at there. Can I? No, I can barely do anything to him. Alright, we're actually going to push this way. Um, could do a lot of damage to this assassin. Which is pretty good, actually. Okay, let's do some more damage there. Um, guess you can lower their accuracy. And you can start blasting whatever else is nearby. And yeah, you can finish them up. I did lower their accuracy. Now it feels a bit pointless now. For reasons that shouldn't be a mystery. Uh, okay, we can hopefully finish this guy. Yeah, bippity bip bip, let's go. Nice. Alright, I kind of want you to get into that spot. Uh, there might be more Zephon down here, for all we know. But I think this might be all they have left. And you can shoot that. It's not very much damage, though. But you know what? I'm going to take it. Now, let's go back up here. Um, they've got a lot of stuff running around now. Yeah, we're going to pull back. We are going to pull back. Not with the combat drones, though. I'll leave them. Good. And yeah, we'll force them to, like, funnel through here. I know it's through trees, which is annoying, but, like, they might stand in the bleed and take damage, or, you know, whatever else. Uh, actually, let's push back here, and then I'll attack. Okay, so. Let's have a look at these new vehicles. The Outrider. Ex-military fast transports driven by militants. Never designed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the new enemies of mankind, but then nothing was. Artillery, nukes, carriers, all had failed. At least in an outrider, you had the chance to get away. And that's why there are so many left. That's pretty cool. And the Exusa Marauder. Uh, before the Akron arrived, I swear I saw these on TV. Giant hovercrafts used for rapid transport or salvaging oil rigs and broken down tankers, I think. They're far from the sea now, though. I don't think they had a missile battery back then, either. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, cool. Got some queued orders, apparently. Alright, let's move you up. Uh, we can't terraform anything. I, I don't have the... I don't have the minerals to maintain building this, like, network. So I guess I'll clear that. Because I can. And yeah, we just need to save up some minerals. We really do. Uh... Oh, I guess you could... You know what? You can just sit tight here. Alright, we need to destroy this. 
Oh, there's more things coming. Uh, Ephraim is talking. He wants peace. Um, I can say yes. I can say yes. Because this is going to keep me busy for a while, I think. That's probably going to get destroyed. Oh, no, maybe not. Never try to explain quantum mechanics to a rank and file jarhead. You'll wind up saying something stupid, like quantum manipulators make other quantum manipulators cheaper because the quantum manipulator perceives the new quantum manipulator. And then you'll wonder where the hell your life went. <laughs> How, where the hell your life went this wrong. Okay. Fair enough. Right, routine tasks, in case we happen to be stood in any outposts. We'll just get some extra stuff out of it. Which I like. Um... Oh yeah, if it's not your affinity, you get it cheaper. You know what? Just plus six loyalty. So this, I thought we had to be trapped. Uh, as in, like, surrounded or something. Like our city was surrounded. It's not. That's just, we are trapped, so we can just get plus six loyalty. So I'll just get plus six loyalty. That's actually huge. Hello there. Trade agreement. Absolutely. This might destroy our economy. Uh, no, it seems we're okay. And there's even some dimensional echoes that we're losing per turn, because apparently we're trading them? Because I guess um, our new trade partner has some. So yeah, trade is going to be hurting everything for now. At least most things. Apparently not power. Huh. Interesting. I guess they're not making much power? I don't know. Um, that's all fine. Let's get another one of these queued up, actually. God, we're, we're low on everything right now. Yeah, I'm just going to wait a bit, and we're going to open more minerals. Alright, we're going to do big mineral extraction here. We're going to get a bunch more loyalty next turn. Because we're getting a lot of research. So we'll, um, we'll be content with that, I think. There's some uh, abkluths as well. We can do a lot of damage to a lot of our enemies here. Yeah, let's hit them. Alright, uh, you need to pull back as well. Let's try and get you somewhere safe. We did lose that unit up there, sadly. Uh, let's pull you that way. You can finish off those dragons. And then... Uh, we can do a bunch of damage to the Chayat Exterminator. So this thing, it would be nice to kill them as quickly as our enemies kill our guys, because these do have a big laser. You know? So you want to get rid of it before it can power that back up. But yeah, this seems doable now, somehow. Oh, hello. That was more Malakim Destroyers. I guess I can lower their accuracy and then run away. That's going to be straight into a dragon, isn't it? See if I can run this way, towards these guys. There's the dragon. Alright, you stay there till you're healed. Uh, you are nearly dead as well now. That's frustrating. This is all a bit frustrating, isn't it? I'm not juggling these enemies very well. Uh, that is not a free action. Um... I don't want you taking more damage. Really, you can't see them from there, huh? That's frustrating. Alright, I guess you come in and... You can assassinate it to lower their morale some more. Uh, I attacked before I checked to see if it was actually going to kill it. Because I was going to shoot it. You. Uh, okay, you. Let's just move up a bit. And we'll shoot that. Ugh, this is going to take forever. It's going to take a hell of a long time. Okay, let's just start shooting it with everything. And we'll get you guys healing. And we'll see if we can't do some work. Uh, I could hit it with the interference protocols. I think that's probably the best thing to hit with it. And you can't do anything right now. Just sit tight. Just sit tight. And all that has to wait. Alright. I really hope that trade agreement bears fruit soon. Alright, so this is okay. Our enemies aren't really, um, aren't really acting too aggressive here. And we've almost got our snipers. 
Oh, we're at peace with them. So, of course. <laughs> of course they'll not be that aggressive. Yeah, I peaced out. The fact that that's their only city, and I think they're probably at war with the Greens. Um, I think we can let the Greens whittle them down a bit. And then we can handle purple. Alright, the triplets are our new, and our new best friends. Uh, I can turn this back on. Which will start creating antimatter for us. Which is useful. So I'll do that. Right. Uh, standing with the Asnath has decreased because of the trade agreement. Alright, alright. I see how it is. They're very upset. Uh, because of the trade agreement. Okay. Oh, oh no, you're sending your riches across the wastelands to Yelena uh, Eigel Fiala? I swear. Uh, that a bunch of raggedy bottom drivers ain't gonna be waiting. The final bastion. Research completed. Extra loyalty. Lovely. Being trapped inside a single city drove the emulated mind to paranoia, but his massive walls gave her followers hope. They didn't fear the consequences of single uh, of a single successful strike. Instead, they thought they'd found a leader who'd do everything to protect them. Oh. Oh. Alien intelligence. Interesting. Uh, we discovered aliens? What? Your guards uh, grudgingly allow a slight figure to approach. He's a data historian by the name of Graham Landon, who's documenting the fall of Earth. Uh, he says for the hereafter... Um, okay. One of the Akron settlement vessels, Azad, crash-landed nearby, and his research among the ship's survivors has uncovered something unusual, that it contains a vault packed with their race's folktales and stories. The Akron consider it a gravesite and taboo, but he asks if you'll guide him there so he can access the vault. In return, he'll promise he'll give you a copy of the data, in case any of it is of use. Um, yeah, might as well. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll do that. Um, we might have to actually move someone to somewhere. But we'll see how that goes. Um, keep them alive and visit the tile and clear enemies. Mm -hmm. If the voice has shaped the accurate for generations, then their folk tales contain vital data. You accept Landon's deal and mobilize the squad to deal with anything guarding the crash site. Interesting. You might die. That's fine. And yeah, more income from outposts is just going to be like little, little, little bits of extra, you know, extra stuff every now and then. Interference protocols, nice for the movement debuff as well, actually. Though we're largely using the interference protocols on... Uh, oh, a frame is calling. Hello. Consider peace with third party. He wants bound for business, paying with blood instead of coin. Sue for peace before your blood dry. What third party? What third party was it talking about? I mean, I assume... Um, Zephon. You know, that's what I assume. What I could do is actually, um, consider it. And I think it'll then ask if I want it to be a payment or anything. Yeah, so Zephon. Uh, I can either say yes or no. That's all I've got. If I say yes, I won't have to worry about Zephon for a while. And I can redirect all of those snipers, a couple of whom are very injured. Right, so I can let them heal up, and then I can go and deal with that Akrin mission. And I can turn my attention to the purple team, who actually have like quite a lot of resources, quite a lot of stuff. It might be worth having all of my forces converge on the purple team. Because if I can destroy one of those cities, then they're kind of out of the running. You know, similar to a frame, I don't see him being a real threat anymore, because I think we can outproduce him. So, I think we say yes, and we'll go Give back for them later. Affair, well, I say we go back for them later, they're gonna attack us later. Do you want to do a map exchange? I don't think we a want to. He's cooperative now, because of the resource, ne resource network. Okay. I am on board. I acknowledge that our struggle was pointless, no need to apologize, we already know you're sorry. Powerful military and a major impact, and uh, Peace Treaty has cheered him up. Uh, I don't know why that's over here, but that's okay too. Okay, done. And these guys. Uh, consider war decoration against third party. Oh, for God's sake. Branded by the Carmine Sigil, fate decrees them as our next prey. What are you talking about? Who do you want me to be at war with? With a frame. Oh, come on. And we just pieced out with them. Although, we do have some troops up by a frame. And if these guys are focused on a frame, 
Um, I mean, those troops weren't going anywhere, right? The troops I have up there aren't going anywhere. So if it keeps the frame a bit busy and he's being attacked from the other side, he might just get wiped out. Um, and I've got peace with Zephon for now, and that's actually fine, I think. Because that frees up those units that I can use against things that are more pressing. Whereas, being at peace with the frame... Yeah, I didn't want him to wipe me out, but if, if it looks like um, Yelena here is up for fighting him, then I'm going to say yes. And he's very upset. So we get to eat crow, yeah? Fine. But when I'm through with you, you'll be eating out of a tube. You're now at war. I can offer them a gift. What? Why? <laughs> Why would I do that? I'll just end the call. Okay, we're back at war with them. Uh, they got some engineers. They're trying desperately to found another city back here. That really seems to be the case. So that's fine. He's just going to get shot to bits in a second. Um, okay, we did lose one of these, I think. Oh, hang Wait, yes. Yes, okay. It was one of them that we lost, I think. Pretty sure. So we still have that for some reason. Yeah, we could probably destroy this. I don't really want to have these stand out here, but I also need to make sure I can hit this again. I need it dead. It's going to impact their leadership. And ours, so, you know. Uh, you sit tight there. So yeah, this is why we need to free up our sniper. So we'll let him live for now. Yep, bippity bip bip. Yep, bippity bip bip. Absolutely true. So true. So true, dude. So true. Bippity bip bip. Okay, so this is where we need to go. We need to go there uh, in any amount of time. So there's Landon. Let's just move him there. That's fine. Um, all right, I should probably send some of these units to escort him. Or at least to wipe these guys out. It doesn't seem like it's going to be difficult. Though they can conjure bleed, which could get quite annoying. But yeah, we can we can head over here. I kind of figured it would be pointing us to it like an actual Akron crash site rather than just here. But anyway, um, so yeah, things are going well, I think. I think things are going well. We've re-jiggered our armies a bit. Um, but we are fighting off everything that's coming at us, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. And our economy should be recovering quite well soon. In fact, let's queue up one of those mineral extractors. Once that's built, then we'll be able to start building things regularly again. And then we can start boosting our loyalty some more in a couple of places, I think. Just make sure that stays nice and high. But anyway, guys, if you're enjoying this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Billions of lives were lost in a heartbeat. Turned to ash and cast away in the wind.